Today I'm going to show you guys how to install a paid wheel stancher script made by Tough Scripts. This allows you to customize your vehicle for your needs, including changing the wheel size, width, offset and camber, and the suspension. This makes a huge difference when it comes to customizing vehicles with wide body or custom kits. This resource is also highly optimized, has compatibility with multiple garage scripts, and supports multiple locations and jobs. One of the best features is not having to worry about the modifications disappearing when the script or server restarts. I'll leave a link in the description to the Tough Scripts Discord where you can purchase this and use my code Cameron for 10% off. I hope you enjoy the video. After you purchase the resource, go to your Keymaster and Granted Assets. Once you're there, locate the resource and download it. Once it's done, open it up and open your server resources. And then we'll drag it in. Then we'll go to our server CFG and ensure the resource. Okay, then we're going to hit file and save. Next, we're going to need to run the SQL, so go to your database, however you do that. Then we're going to look for the file. Select it. Okay, and then you can close out of that. Next, we're going to go into the resource and find the code to add the garage triggers. Okay, once we're in here, find the garage script to use. I use the default one, so I'll open that up. And now we need to go to QB Garages to the client section. And open that up. Now, I'm going to copy this. Go back to QB Garages, Control F and paste. Then go back to this README and copy the code. And here we're going to hit Enter and paste. And then we'll hit File and Save. Then we need to go to the server section of QB Garages. We need to add this all the way at the bottom. Okay, then we'll hit File and Save. The next thing we'll look at are the designs for the menu color and header logo. So we'll go back to the resource. Go here. Go into Menu Designs. And then we'll go to the header logo first. Now there are two different designs and there's a preview for each one. I'm going to go with the first one. So I'll copy this. Go into the resource. Go to Assets, HTML, and Images. And paste the one we want in there. Then we'll go back and look at the menu color options. So again, there's a preview for each one. You have this one. And this one. I'm going to go with the first one. So I'll open this up and do Control A to highlight all of it. Then we'll do Control C to copy. Then we'll go back to the resource, Assets, HTML, CSS, and open this here. Then we'll do Control A again to highlight everything and then paste what we copied. Then we'll hit File and Save. Next, I'm going to show you guys the config and the options that are available there. So the first couple of options don't need to be changed. If you're using no pixel garages, set this to true. Otherwise, leave it as false. The next couple of options are what the menu heading will be and what the options will say. I'm going to leave these as default. If you want, you can put your shop name here. We have more options to change the text for exiting the menu. And again, I'm leaving these as default. Then we have options for draw text and the marker. If you want this enabled, if you don't change it to false, I left a link in the description to the site that shows you the markers. So we we'll go there. The default is 20. 
I'm going to change it to 36. And you can also change what it says above the marker. Then we have the color options and the animations for the marker and the key to open the menu. I left a link in the description for that as well. So if you want, you can open it and change the key. All you need to do is replace the number. If you change anything, hit file and save. Once we load into the server, I'm going to show you guys how to create a new location. Once you're in the server and that's the spot where you want the shop to be, we're going to go back to the config. And as you can see, there are already some locations here. So we'll scroll down to the last one and copy it. And then we'll paste it. I'm going to call this one flywheels. And then we'll start renaming the information. So the first thing we need to do is change the ID to 7. It needs to be numerical or it won't work. Now we're going to go back into the server and create a polyzone. So you'll type PZ create. And then for the name, I'm going to put stance. And we're going to do three and three. Now you move it with the arrow keys and rotate it with the scroll wheel. If you want to make it shorter or taller, hold Z and use the scroll wheel. It could be a different key for you. Once it's to your liking, we're going to type PZ finish. We're going to go back to our server area and look for polyzone created zones. So open that up and that should be there. Then open the config. And we'll copy the vector 3. And the length as well. And then lastly, the heading. After that, we'll keep scrolling down, and again, there are already shops here. So we'll repeat the same process, copy the last one, and paste it. We'll make this zone 7. Copy the chords again. And then for the heading, we'll go back into the server. And paste it here. Now, these are for the jobs required. So if you have multiple mechanic jobs, you can add them here. You can also enable or disable the blip. So if you open the map, the blips are there. Here's what they look like. They all look the same. So if you want certain locations to show up or not show up, change it to true or false. After that, we can hit file and save. All right, we're back in the server. And as you can see, the blip is here on the map, as well as the menu. So we'll go in and start messing with some things.
Okay, and then we'll look at some of the camera options. Put that back to where it was. And then once you have it how you like it, I'm going to go and save changes. And there it is. So we're going to go to the nearest garage. And we'll park it. And when we take it out again, you can see that everything we just did saved. Alright, so we're back here with this truck. I really just want to lift it. So do that. And there we go. That'll be all for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and a sub. Join Toughscripts Discord for the resource. The link is in the description. And use my code for 10% off. Thanks for watching.